Hello everyone, how are we doing? Cool, I'm Eddie with Audio Movers, and welcome to our second stream on Listen to Fundamentals, um, Listen to for Beginners. Um, if you didn't tune in the week before last, um, we covered streaming, start, you know, checking your stream, transmitting to people um, in Pro Tools, Logic Pro and Ableton. Um, and today we're going to be doing receiving streams, which really is just 101 Audio Movers. Let us share my screen. Are you seen everything? Yes, cool. Let's go. So this is Omnibus, our new product. Um, we we'll go through this in a, another live stream at some point. But um, yeah, it's great audio routing and it's best. Um, two virtual drivers, each with sixteen channels. But we're here for listen to for Omnibus. We'll um, cover that later. But um, it's great for streaming. So I've got a Pro Tools session up. Really basic. This is just a track. Same one I played last week, but without guitar solo. So. I want to stream this and check out my stream. Or I want to send this to a client, say you're receiving a stream. All we need to do to, to use this into is open up the stereo track, open up the plugin on the stereo track, we're going to log in, start streaming and copy the link. I'll just use the default settings of 0.5 seconds of latency and AAC, so advanced audio coding, at 128 kilobits per second. And I've copied my stream. Now I'll put the free mute on so it's not going to come through here, so we can just go through the stream on the web. And I will open up Chrome, copy this in here, start listening. Now, I'm not playing anything so you're not going to hear the stream, but if I go onto Pro Tools quickly and start streaming, we get our stream through real time. So as we can see up here, I'll just turn this down. As we can see here, on the listen to receiver, on the web receiver at least, as all of them do as well, we can see a sample rate of 48 kilohertz. Um, we have AAC 128, that's our audio quality. We have the amount of channels being streamed, and we also have our latency time down here. This is where we can choose to select our channels, and we've got a time here, and then for the mobile player, you can scan the QR code to download it now. So that's for web receiver. Really simple, really basic, um, really easy to use. And um, so, what's interesting in the web receiver and all our built-in receivers is that it internally converts the sample rate to match your computer. So if I'm streaming from forty-four point one um, to a device that's running 40, forty-eight kilohertz, it will convert it to forty-eight. So it's not going to jitter, and you, you're going to get a smooth stream without any jitters. Um, but that covers um, the web receiver. We can move on to Logic Pro. I'll show you how to demonstrate how we do it in there, as well as going through the plugin receiver. I will quit Pro Tools. Go back to my face cam for a bit whilst um, this is loading. Hi everyone, sorry about that. Um, I had to switch my audio routing over quickly. Um, cool, we're back. Um, so let's do some quick multi-channel streaming. Um, basic, just drum stems. Um, and I'm going to put the listen to plugin on the output. Um, I'm going to call this logic for later use. Um, cool, let's log in and let's change this to 24-bit PCM. And we'll go into Chrome and copy this in. And we have my stream. Cool. You can see here PCM 24 bit. Um, and what we can do now is um, through me. It's going to come through Chrome. And I'll turn this down so you can actually hear me speaking. Um, but you're sending the track over, you're sending the drum, um, your drum bus or your stereo out, your mix to a client of yours. And all oh, they're sending it to you. And you want to hear. I don't know, an individual part, you want to hear just a snare. And you're tired of just calling up your um, person you're collaborating with and going, oh, can you just mute the snare, or mute everything else, leave the snare, solo the snare. So what we can do here is, um, you notice we've named this logic, or you can give it whatever session name it is. Let's say you just want to share your snare sound. I can open up Listen To here. I can call this logic. 
I will make sure I'm at PCM24 bit as well, but you can change change it to whatever you want. Log in, and this now streams channels 3 and 4. You see 1 and 2 here, and 3 and 4 here. If I go in to Chrome now, now you can hear the snare only. Like I said, it's really, really useful, but we can get more, get more out of this. You can actually have up to 64 instances of this and two. So let's go for the kick sub. Channels five and six. Probably can't hear that. Um, right, let's do the body, kick body or the transient so you can hear it. Do do do. Logic, cool. PCM twenty four. Here we go, and now really useful, really useful indeed. But um, yeah, you can also stream to the standalone as well. Um, I can just go. Let's log in. Whatever. Um, just paste the link into it. Beat my Wi Fi acting up. Um, there we go. And here we've got our audio channels. Switch between two. And we're streaming an Atmos mix. This will come up with 12, 714 channels will all come up here. Cool. So let's move on to Ableton. I'll just take my screen back. Bear with me all. Give me a second, I'm just going to turn my screen off quickly. Sorry about that, everyone, just triple checking my audio routing. Cool, we're good to go. So we're in Ableton now, and yeah, I'm just going to really quickly show you the listen to receiver, our way of receiving a bell app that you can download. Um, it comes with the uh, listen to plugins where you get verb transmitter and receiver plugins but um sure i'll just um for now i'll put an instance of listen to onto this electric piano part log in i'll set see if i can do 0.1 do 24 bit pcm do 0.2 because it's going to be a bit funny i'll put free mute on so now you won't be able to hear this piano part <laughs> What we're gonna do now, um, I'm gonna copy the stream, um, or start the stream, but um, I'm gonna open up a new audio track. Let's just call this um, receiver. So it's a lot easier in um, Ableton to do this um, in in um, Pro Tools, Logic, um, Cubase, whatever. It gets a bit more um, tricky, and not even tricky. No, it's um, it's just a, you need to uh, route through a bus, whereas in Ableton you can just do this. It's really simple. Um, paste the link, and now you'll hear this come through here. Obviously it's a tad bit out of time, but um And what I can do here, uh, make sure I don't have one on my master output. Start a new audio track, I'll set the external input as the receiver track. And all I need to do is just arm and record. Um let's go from here. Press record um Cool. So we can take this off now. Um, and all we need to do is drag it back. Um, um. Let's have a bit of time, but um. But yeah, really is as simple as that. Um, it's so easy to use. It's such a, uh, it's the ultimate tool.
multiple remote collaborations. Um, um, yeah, it's so simple. It's easy. Um, you can receive streams just like that. Um, and depending on distance and Wi-Fi speed, you can get to as little as 0.1 seconds with 32-bit PCM float, lossless audio. But yeah, um, we'll keep it short and sweet. But um, thanks everyone for tuning in. Um, like I said earlier, any questions you might have, um, please let us know on our socials or leave a comment. And let us know. We'd love to answer your questions and, yeah, see what you want to see next. Um, next stream we'll be doing is either next week or the week after. We'll be covering Omnibus, which is our new routing tool, as you can see below here. It's two virtual drivers, each of 16 I.O. And your source destinations or destination channels on the top. Um, you can save snapshots. But I'm using this for OBS right now, so I don't want to change anything. But, yeah, thanks so much for joining, everyone. And, look, um, I'll catch you in the next one. And any questions, please let us know. Amazing. I've been Eddie. See you in a little bit. Take care. Bye.